Hey, what, what, uh, what, uh, what are you talking about? Are you talking about Freemasonry? Atheism? Spiritual deception? Judaism? Class struggle? Race struggle? Ideological struggle? And, and that conservatism? And the liberalism? And religious struggle? And crime? And news media? And climate control? And food and water control? And economic control through inflation and inflation? And the complete control of education? And and, 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 oh, yeah, well, there's more, but, uh, that's good for now. I think I covered some of that. These two make a real good team. To control the religion, there was need of a secret cloak to cover the religion of the Pharisees. And for this, there was a need for a secret sect. Moreover, the true religion of this sect must never be known to its members, only to the adepts who run the order. Freemasonry involves to build a religion whose true identity is hidden, but whose precepts can infiltrate all opinions. <coughs> Truly, Freemasonry is the ace of Luciferian spiritual power and control. While Masonry has its spiritual allegiance to Lucifer outwardly, it is all things to all people. It is as Albert Pike says, a veritable sphinx. It insinuates itself into organizations and individuals, and those who succumb to its deceptions literally do not think their own facts. The natural mind of man cannot imagine the spiritual power of Freemasonry. Only the power of Christ can protect us from it. I am that Masonry and operates on a system of dualism, which, which means that all things must balance. Let, let, let me explain. Let me explain it. <laughs> we'll get Masonry, down, Bill. Masonry creates conflict by controlling the good guys and the bad guys as well as is the ideology of the conflict. See, we see today that one of the best examples in history in capitalism and in communism is, and, and, I mean Russia, but when I say that, but Freemasonry controls both sides of the economic and political expense of the people subjects on both sides. Get that? And in the United States and Russia are presumably two opposing powers with opposing ideologies. Hmm. This sets the stage for conflict, but actual control comes through the fact that these dualistic powers are united in the real world as a united power, not a divided power. It's all just, just smoke and mirrors, you know. Something good to watch on nightly news and stuff keep you going. Do what? You just get to see the results of the spirituality on your nightly news. <laughs> Man, I could write a book on the objective and subjective evidence that the United States and the USSR united through the ruling Pharisee elite. There are plenty of overwhelming evidence of the United you know, the U.S. and Russia economically and militarily. In reality, mm. man, the world is not divided into communist and anti-communist blocks of power. Any simple understanding of Freemasonry reveals that, that this is true. We have tried with little success to point this fact out so many stupid Americans who have exhausted themselves fighting a communism which they thought to be Russian in origin. A few honest ones who were interested in spiritual things have gradually seen this truth. Please keep in mind that the people of America and Russia must be continually deceived for this Pharisee elite to continue to use their human and natural resources to dominate control the rest of the world absolutely. It is impossible, it's entirely possible for millions of Americans to be 
annihilated in this process as many already have. 